as straight as a board. That's how we do it. Joe's ones. Welcome back. You already know, bro. You're a chosen one. If you consider yourself a chosen one, you are a straight shooter. You shoot straight. You don't miss. The way you think, the way others think, there's a reason why you're chosen. There's a reason why you're so straightforward. There's a reason why you're a blue collar, hard working American. I don't even care if you're American. I'm not even American. But that's how we roll. That's how we roll. You could be from Argentina for all I care. You could be from the Bahamas. You could be from Antarctica. Swim with the polar bears. You're a hard working dude. Slash woman. Whichever one. You're a straight shooter. You're hard to kill. You're hard to kill because because of your drive. Because of your not to be messed with type of attitude. There's people in this world, bro, that's easy to kill. And we don't even mean literally kill. We're talking spirit. We're talking your will. Your will in this world. Your will, your determination, your drive to win cannot be killed if you're a chosen one you can't be killed it's not easy a lot of people easy they're easily shunned they're easily persuade a, a, a certain way to, to do certain things but with you your mind's tough even when you go through the thick of things your mind is still tough. You just won't back down. You won't surrender. You won't sell out. Your will to win cannot be bought. You can't be bought. You're a straight shooter. You know who you are. You know what you do. You know where you're going. Your spirit is hard to kill. I think anyone in the world can be killed to an extent when it comes to not just physical and, and literally killing you. I'm talking your spirit. I think anybody potentially could be killed. I think something could happen. But as a chosen one, you are very hard to kill. That's the difference here. We're not going to act and behave like we're literally immortal because that would be a lie. But as for most... And as for you and a lot of the others in this world, you are an individual that is very hard to kill. We know there's some crafty, hard-minded individuals in this world that's damn near impossible to kill them. They would go out on their shield. You are the same way. You're hard to kill. You're hard to stop. They cannot stop you. Once that train is rolling, that train is rolling, bro. You're on that path, you're on your purpose. When times were tough, you didn't give up. You're hard to kill. You're hard to stop in your tracks. You don't take no for an answer. You go forward, you're a straight shooter. I hope this so far is making sense because this is what we're getting to here. As for others, <clears throat> they might easily be killed. The littlest things go wrong, oh, oh my God. No, I had enough. Someone buy me. I'll I'll sell my soul for this or that or that or this. Easily killed. You're not like that. You are hard to kill. You're focused. You're on your path. You're on your mission. You're on your purpose. You might have many different purposes. But you're a straight shooter. You go forward in life. You play offense. You're not playing defense. Oh my God. This is happening in the world. Oh my God. Those people are easy to kill, bro. Your spirit is easily guilt. We have to adjust to certain things. And we have to keep a positive mindset and mind frame going forward. 
all the time. It doesn't matter if we get nuked. It doesn't matter about shit. It don't matter if Russia comes to our homeland. It does not matter. We got to stay solid. We got to do what we got to do moving forward. That's what we got to do. That's what being chosen is all about. Our will to win cannot be bought. No. Straight shooters. Hard to kill. And we're hard to come by. Because there's a lot of those weak minded individuals in the world who kind of live in la la land. Like the world's all sunshine and rainbows and nothing bad is going on in the world. Because that's what they want to believe. Oh, well, this is my reality. The fuck out of here with that shit, bro. My God. Pathetic. Jesus did not suffer on the cross. For us to sit around every single day playing patty cake. Come on, dog. Where is the action at? We bust every single day. We keep people in line. We keep people motivated. We make people better. We give people our energy. We make people stronger. We go out there in the world and we put a stamp on it. That's what we do. We are imprinting ourselves into the universe for the time we're here. Chosen ones, you are very hard to kill. Very hard. As for the rest, they fold like lawn chairs. The littlest things is going to get them down. The littlest things is going to get them off. There's things in life that can get you down. There's things in life that can get you off, but... It's up to you if it's going to be easy or if you're not going to let it happen. A lot of tough things can happen in life. At unnecessary times, but it's up to you how you respond. Because how you respond is much more important than anything else. Are you going to be okay if somebody in your family passes away that you're close to? Are you going to be okay if your wife passes away? Are you going to be okay if your husband passes away? Are you going to be okay if your dog dies? Things can happen. You gotta be prepared. You gotta be prepared <clears throat> mentally for things like this to happen. I'm not saying be on watch. Something bad is gonna happen. Wait, 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 wait. No, I just mean when it does happen, how tough are you? How strong are you going to be when things like this happen? How are you going to push forward? How are you going to respond to these things? You will have a moment of grief. After that, how are you going to pick yourself up? How are you going to carry yourself going forward after bad things happen? Because bad things will happen. This is life. We are not immortal. We are all going to die. But why not make the most of it while we're here? Why not do the best that we can do while we're here? Why not live our best lives while we're here? Living your best life is not sitting around playing patty cake all day. Hard work is the answer. You got to work hard to an extent. If you don't work hard, you're not going to enjoy anything. If you're just a lazy bum and you're getting fed steaks all day, you're not going to, to enjoy your steaks. If you work really hard and you have a steak on the barbecue with a beer, you're going to enjoy that. If you don't work hard, you're not going to enjoy anything. Nothing. You've got to work hard. you got to put in some work. you got to sacrifice a bit. you got to bleed a bit. And I get it. Men are built a little bit different than women. But even then, as a woman, you gotta play your role. You gotta play your factor out there in life. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do as a woman. You still gotta work to an extent, pretty hard. 
on, on certain things. And you will be happier. You know who's not happy? The women that live. Just to have kids. And then their kids grows up. Their kids leave the house. Now the mother has absolutely no purpose in life. Just kind of sitting there in la la land. What happened? Well, you got absolutely no purpose, purpose besides your kids. I'm not saying don't make kids a big part of your purpose. Because it probably should be. Because a large amount of happiness for, for women comes from having children and a family and stuff like this. It's a good goal to have. But it shouldn't be your only goal to have. Because that too will come to an end. Your children will grow up. Your children will get out of the house. It will just be you. So what can you do to set goals? What can you do to stay busy? What can you do to contribute to yourself, to the world, to, the, to, to people around you to make life that much more better and exciting so you can enjoy yourself while you're here? Because hard work is a huge part of being here on Earth. If you guys saw the amount of time that we have on Earth, that we were, the amount of hours, the amount of days, the amount of years that we sleep for, that we work hard for, that's a huge amount of our life. Working and sleeping. Huge. The amount of free time we have is very limited compared to those things. So the better we do those things, I believe the better our free time will be to do better things. To do funner things. Maybe not even necessarily funner things, but like... Even the smaller things will be way better because of the work that we've done. The tougher you are, the better life is. I don't know why it's like that, but it's true. The weaker you are, the easier you are to kill... The worst life is. You're going to have to put in work to an extent. That's what life is. This might be too much for some of you guys. I don't know. But if you're a chosen one, you can take in all this information. You can understand it. You can appreciate it. And you can know this is the truth. You can know this is the way to life. I'm telling you guys. I would much rather be working half the time than doing something different. That does That's just not really doing anything. There's obviously things I enjoy outside of work. 100%. I get so many hobbies, it's not even funny. But even most of my hobbies is hard work. A competitive sport. In the gym, competing with myself in there. Putting up heavy-ass numbers. Putting up rec record-breaking numbers. It, it's things like that, man. I, I live for the grind. Like That's just who I am. I might be too hard for some of you guys. I don't know. But this is just how I am, and I notice things in life. I notice patterns. I didn't like hard work as much as I do right now than I was when I was, like, in my late teens and stuff like that. I like to enjoy a little bit more whenever I was that age because I wasn't as strong. But when you become strong, strong-willed, strong-minded, hard-to-kill type of person, everything in life is so appreciative, I can't even explain it. Like, your mind is just... Like, I, I don't even know. Like, everything is appreciative. A glass of water, appreciated. A, 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 a coffee, an iced coffee, amazing. Like, every single thing is just so good to have. But when you don't work hard, and you're just kind of existing, those things are just, like, nothing. Hard work make, it makes you appreciate things, bro. That's what I'm trying to say here. And if you're that hard of a worker and your mind is that savage, you will be hard to kill automatically. That's just the type of person you are. You're an A-plus, A-level shooter. And these people are not born. They are built. I built myself to the level I am today. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of focus, discipline, willpower, motivation. And it, motivation really don't even exist. It's the motivation you can find in yourself to really go out there <clears throat> and to do certain things. We're not always motivated to do things. Sometimes we're tired, but we keep going. We keep working. We can we can catch that second win. We can keep going. Sometimes I'm super tired, and I still find a way to get things done. 
And on the other side of that is complete bliss. It's blessings. It's unexpected blessings that just come out of absolutely nowhere. You didn't even see it coming and just all of a sudden some kind of blessing just came. God is not... Only you and God will ever see the amount of work that you've done in your entire life. Maybe some other people seen bits and pieces of here and there of you putting in work and they're like, wow, this guy or this girl is a savage. But they did not see it all. Only you and God know what you've done. Only you really know how impressive you are in God. Other people can see certain things you do that's impressive. But only you know deep down inside your worth, your value, where you stand in this world. So... My suggestion, my suggestion is to be that person that is hard to kill. If you're not already that person. Work hard, bro. It makes life way better. Everything is so much more crystal, crystal clear. Everything. I don't know why it is that way, but it's almost like a hungry lion in the African jungle rainforest that just ain't gonna miss his prey he's gonna get it he saw it he spotted it he's locked and loaded he's gonna get it he's not gonna fail his mission he's gonna eat he's a straight shooter he ain't gonna miss so hard work solves everything man at, at, at the end of the day this is what it comes down to Some people think, well, maybe if I, if, I, if I do all this work, maybe I'll just do it all for nothing and nothing will ever happen. Some people hold themselves back, and I truly believe that is 100% bullshit, and they don't want to do the work to begin with, to actually do what it takes. <laughs> there is no, yeah, if you do this for sure, you will get these results for sure. There, nothing is for sure. You can take a massive risk, which I have. I put in years of work into things that I got not one damn cent from. Nothing. No rewards. Nothing to show for. Absolutely nothing. And I don't regret it. But some people have the mindset, oh, maybe if I try this and I put in all this work, maybe nothing will come out of it. How will you ever know? You will never know. And don't sit here and tell me you're some strong-minded individual because you are not. You live in fear. You let you let things hold you back. You have to go after things and lock it down like a lion, just staring at its prey. And it's not taking its sight off. It's just staring. It's going to get it. That's how you have to be in life with your goals. You have to be dead-ass serious, bro. You can't kind of want it. Sometimes you got to put in work and you don't even know what direction you're going in. You're just doing work. I swear, you will get rewarded for this. Some way, somehow, something will happen for you that if you just put in a lot of work, and I truly believe, you could run up and down your street every single day and something would just happen. If you just put in work, man, mysterious, unusual things will happen for you it all depends on your level of dedication and focus and how serious you are. <clears throat> so once again, I recommend taking that chosen path. I recommend being that straight shooter. I recommend being hard to kill. It is the best way of life. It is. Every little thing you will appreciate so much more. If you're a fan of sports and you get to, you've worked so hard in the run of the day, you get to sit down for an hour or two to watch your favorite sports team compete. It's bliss. It's amazing. But if you just did that all the time, you just sit around all the time and you don't work hard, you don't do nothing else, you're just, you're wasting the whole day so you can get to this moment. That moment isn't even going to be shit. I'm telling you right now, you have to work hard every single day. Everything else becomes so much better.
Why is it like this? We don't know exactly. We have ideas why it's like this. But it's just, it's something that just is. Why do things change this way? It's really deep. But when you put yourself through things, all the smaller things become much more enjoyable. Because you worked hard, you were used to something that was wear and tear, a grind. A cold glass of lemonade with some ice in a hot summer day would be splendid. If you worked a long day in the heater or something like this. An iced coffee in a long day of the heat, you get an iced coffee. You get an ice cream on a hot summer day. After you were out there, you were bussing, you were working, whatever it may be that you like. These are examples. It's just, it's like that reward. And something else. If you constantly just wear and tear, 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 wear and tear. Work, 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 work. No reward? You're going to hate your life too. So, this is definitely not what I'm trying to preach. But what I'm trying to preach is for the work that you have to do or for the goals that you want to go after and the extra work that you have to do to achieve those, put in your work and then reward yourself. Because that's what's going to keep you going back to work harder and harder and harder to get those rewards because you know you've earned it. When you earn it, it feels damn good. That's where those feelings come from, I truly believe. It's nothing but bliss. But bliss don't exist if you don't work hard. When you work hard, you get the glory. You guys understand how freaking good a nice meal tastes after a hard workout. Amazing. You guys understand how bad that meal would be if you didn't work out and you just ate a meal when you were already half full. You're going to feel like shit. You see what I'm saying here? When you go through work and then you get the reward, it makes life so much better. You get these endorphins, you get these feelings that you would not ever get if you didn't put in that work. So I recommend putting in that work. Take that chosen path <clears throat> and be hard to kill.